Hey everyone, Michael here. I'm back again with another great project. Remember a couple of weeks ago when I showed you guys how to make these papers using different sprays on the market with Stencil Girl stencils? Well, I'm here today to show you another really easy project to do with one of these sheets because I've become totally addicted and I have a stack waiting here for projects to be made and I've made this up because uh you know the holidays are going to be here before you know it we may only be in beginning of june almost um but before you blink the holidays are going to be here and everyone's going to need presents for teachers and uh neighbors and the mailman and you name it so this is a little note book um, that i put together it's using one section of, of a sheet and the other section that we're going to cut off I have another project to show you how, what to do with that but uh, very easy to do minimal minimal list of supplies the biggest thing that you really need is a binding machine but a lot of us have that now also so let me show you what goes into making this book okay you're going to need one of your pages it could be double-sided or single-sided i really love double-sided because i love the contrast that you get when you open up the book and you get this was one side of the paper this was another type of cool thing and you get twice the amount of stencils shown because you're using different stencils on different sides so one sheet of that okay you're going to need a paper cutter you're going to need a score pal or another scoring tool you're going to need a scissor you're going to need a binding machine i'm using the cinch you can use the bind it all if you have that i'm also using uh half inch uh wires to bind the machine with you're also going to need a negative and a positive magnet. I'm using these small magnets by Basic Ray. They have a larger size, about the size of a dime, but I like these small, the small versions. Uh, that's about it. So let me show you what's going to go on here. So for the book itself, you need two pieces cut. The cover is going to be five inches by four inches, and you have your back, which is going to be seven and a quarter by five inches. Okay, and then your inside pages, which I'm using, I use this uh, recycled Xerox paper here. Uh, these are going to be three and seven eighths by four and seven eighths. And what I do is I make this one eighth smaller on the width and the height of whatever my cover is. So because the cover is five by four, this will be four and seven eighths by three and seven eighths. So if you're going to make different size books, keep that in mind. Okay, so. And I'm using 50 sheets of paper in this because the fold here is a quarter of an inch. Let me show you how to get started on this. So take your paper, okay, and you're going to cut it. I start with the width first, so I know it's going to be five inches wide. Okay, it doesn't matter what size you cut on because you're going to use both sides anyway. And again, don't throw this piece out because there's a project afterwards. So then we want one piece that is four inches for the cover. And I don't think about what I'm cutting, I just go and cut. And then the next piece is seven and a quarter. Okay. Now, if you're in the States, I forgot to mention this. We have A4 paper here. I don't have eight and a half by 11 available to me. So this is a sheet of A4 okay so this works fine if you're in brazil or if you're in europe or australia i think everywhere in the world except the united states uses a4 so if you're in the states and you're using eight and a half by 11 your cover is going to be five by four and your second piece instead of it being seven and a quarter by five you're going to make this seven inches so this will be five by four your back cover is going to be seven by five you're still going to score normally as with the a4 paper and all this means is that your front cover here is going to be one quarter of an inch smaller not a big deal okay so i have my back piece here you can take your score scoring tool and you get, you're going to score at four inches and four and a quarter i like to do both sides because honestly i just never know what side i'm going to use until i take a look at the book Okay. 
we are done with that. If you don't have a scoring tool, just use a ruler and a uh, uh, bone folder if you have one of those. Okay. So now comes the way to design the book. Like I said, you can. I, I, I love this contrast between the front and the back. Okay. Um, so you could do this. I could do this the orange on the orange because the books can open this way. I could do the orange on the blue. I kind of like that because the wording is starting here and you open it up and then the blue continues. I think, uh, let's see, if we go this way with the blue and the orange, see now the binding is gonna, is gonna hide these numbers here because you're gonna have the holes there. So, you know what? I think we're gonna do it this way. Okay, so I like this idea. Uh, for the cover, for the back binding, for this book here, I have, a, I have a curve. So the first time I did this book, I, uh, I, I made a template. So I took a paper plate, okay, you could take uh, anything that's rounded, a paper plate or a dish or something, and I just laid it down so that it was just sitting just about here. I took a pencil and I drew around it, and then I cut that area off so I had this rounded template that I use now. So now for a lot of my books, uh, because I like to use this rounded template, I just line up the template here, and I just trim around it. You can take a pencil and then go back and cut if you want to, whatever is easiest for you. Another thing you can use on the edge is uh, a border die. Okay, so here are two Martha Stewart dies. This was actually, this is an EK success. This was uh, just a scallop, so that when you close the book, you're gonna have a scalloped edge here. And this one is a different border die, so you would have this edge here. This is a little bit more formal. But if you're going to be making these down the road, think about having different, uh, different closures for the book. Okay, so I have my front and my back. I need my 50 sheets of paper, which I've already pre-cut and pre pre-drill the holes into that with the bind it all, but I'm going to show you how to do this. So my book is going to basically be looking like this. Okay, so now you take your bind it all or your cinch, okay? With the cinch, because my book is five inches wide, I know to pull out the number 10 tab, okay? Since I've already done my pages, okay, I'm just going to line up how my book is going to be done. Okay, so this is my front and back cover. I'm gonna line this up. I'm just gonna run this through here and punch the holes. Okay, now for binding the book, this is really important, so watch what I'm doing here. So I have my front cover, I have my pages on the inside, I have my back cover, okay? When you bind the book, you want your binding to be on the inside here, you want the closure to be on the inside, okay? You don't want it on the outside because if it starts to open up or fall apart, you're gonna to start to have your pages come out and you also just want a clean, a clean closure, okay? So what you need to do is when you have all of your pages in the order you wanna bind it in, you're gonna take your back page and you're gonna flip it around to the front, okay? And then you're gonna bind it this way. I'll do that again. So here is my book, the way I want it bound. Okay, this is my back page. I'm literally just gonna open up the back so it fits flat and then flip it around to the front, okay? Now you're gonna take your wires, okay? And you're gonna, whoop, let's try to get this here. Okay, you have your wires, put them through here. And then I'm gonna cut here, because you don't need those. I love the, 
excuse me. I love the cinch. Um, I love that you can, <coughs> excuse me, getting over a cold here. You have a lot more options with the cinch as far as your binding goes than with the bind at all. At least that's what I have found. I'm just going to bind it here. Because this is such a small wire, the cinch doesn't allow you to close that small, so you just have to do a little bit manually. But then you have your book done. Okay. All you need to do now is go back in with your snaps, which I have lost. Okay. We'll do this. So you have your positive and your negative. Okay. What I do is I have my positive and the negative. They're stuck together. Take off the adhesive to one side. Okay. And I'm going to glue it. I'm going to adhere it first over here to where I want it closed, which is right there. Then I'm going to take off the adhesive on this side. Not as easy as I thought. Okay. Got that off. And then you're just going to close the book. Okay, line up your edges. Now when you open it, you have one snap here and one snap here, and it just snaps shut. Now, how easy is that? I probably could have fit a few more pages in here, um, but with the one half, with the half inch binding, that's fine. Um, great for a knapsack, great for a purse, great for a back pocket if you're just out for the day and you just want to take a couple of notes. You can slip a pen in here, but that's the way that book is done. For this other sheet, okay, what I do with this one is I fold this in half and I trim it and then I just layer it on some other papers and I, I measure the size of this on the inside and I cut my, my uh, paper for the inside and I just bind it this way. So this is a little book I can have next to the phone when people call or any other in the kitchen for a little food list. I could just jot this down and just rip out the pages as I want. But another unique, fun, easy gift for the holidays or for a birthday or just to say hello to a friend and show them how much you appreciate them by making something homemade with Stencil Girl stencils. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too difficult. If you have any questions, leave them a comment on the blog or below. Uh, and check out my blog, worldofmichaeltrent.blogspot.com, for other techniques and projects to do with stencils and mixed media. Thanks for watching. Take care.